Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing all right. It's a little bit dull in the news lately, except for one thing. So I've been getting a lot of feedback of people who might not be getting a Ford Lightning anymore or similar EV trucks that have been announced and how far away they are. And today I want to talk why that might actually be a pretty good thing. A really interesting thing is a poll I did. So in a poll with over 574 votes, that's a, a pretty decent sample size, we asked, with all the new information about the Ford Lightning, is that going to change your mind? Are you no longer ordering? Are you like thinking? Are you on the fence? So what, what we got here is reservation holders. I, I made sure that you had to be a reservation holder to vote. If not, you'd select none. But what we found out of that 574 people, 16% is now going to a competitor. That's a big number. And then we have 13% who's going to wait till a later model. So kind of what we're talking about here today. And then 17% who's just totally out. So adding that together, luckily it's a nice even number. We have about 30% of the people I polled, and you're all huge Lightning fans, I would guess, my guess is it's mostly people at the end of the line because it's easier to just say, hey, I don't want it anymore if you're not going to get it. I mean, I've said that on these videos even. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But at the same time, 30% is a very significant number. If we were to max that out, that would be over 60,000 people. That's crazy. But we do have 41% sticking with it saying they want this year one model with knowing pricing and everything. So that is a pretty significant chunk, but not as big as I thought. My, my guess was honestly that that would be closer to like 60 or 70 and then sprinkles below. It's crazy to think about that. So those of us who are waiting, this video is for you. Let's get into it. So maybe you didn't make wave one and like myself, you felt hopeless or just, man, well, I don't even want one anymore. Like a stubborn little baby. Well, of course I still want one, but like, I think we all understand like the reality of, oh man, oh man, the dealer said I was high on the list, but I might not actually get a Ford Lightning or at least not for a while. Or maybe you're interested in the Cybertruck or the new Silverado and you have a deposit on those and the field goals just keep getting pushed back and back and you never know when you'll actually get them. Like the Silverado is 2024 and if I had to guess, the Cybertruck is probably even behind that. Although, I mean, I still have my fingers crossed, except they just announced or just changed the website again and got rid of any sort of production target. So it's looking more and more like the concept that never was. Fingers crossed, though. Obviously, I hope it exists. So with all those in mind, I want to talk about why right now probably isn't even the best time to get into an EV. So it all started last week, an awesome innovation was made so as we know right now most EVs are coming in around the 250 to 350 range. Of course, there's outliers on either end. However, if you're buying an EV now, it's looking closer to like your, your standard range is probably around 250. And that's looking at basically just what's available right now. So there's a really cool battery company called One. They're actually based right here in Michigan where I'm from. And they just did an amazing test on a Model S where they replaced it with their own battery technology and got 752 mile range. That is incredible. Can you imagine even just 500 mile range on a standard EV? That would, I think, get so many more people into it. Plus, if you put that 750 
uh, battery pack on something larger like a truck, you can only imagine that that's still probably going to be like four or 500 easy in range. So, and we are on here. If I had to like draw this out, I would say right here is where we'll peak at batteries. We are like right down here and with battery innovation and charging infrastructure comes more people into the EV world. And I think it's okay to wait for some of these things to happen because I think we're about to go from here to here pretty soon. It's really saying that we're close to this, not, not this current round of EVs, but the very next round of EV trucks is going to be probably the best time to get in and maintain your value. Because my fear right now is we're all getting in on these brand new, uh, let's just say lightnings. And we already know Ford's working on a 2025 version already, so we're going to lose value on these trucks right away. And all of us on the fence of this like 230 to 300 mile range on these trucks, that's not even going to be an issue on V2 of these. So it, it really does make sense to probably hold out for a lot of people anyway. Especially like I worry like will we lose value instantly? Are these gonna are we gonna pay? what, $74,000 for an XLT extended range that's going to be worth 50K tops in like three years. That's not, I mean, it's looking like that might be the case even. So, I mean, hopefully not because as we know, Tesla's at least hold their value incredibly well. But the second we strike new battery innovation, that's going to put a ding in all of our uh, equity in our cars. So that's something to keep in mind. So additionally, let's talk about anyone who is still like worried about not getting their lightning. It's important to know because I get this comment a lot. I've had a couple of emails. Hey, I didn't make the orders and it's not happening. So I just want to use this as an opportunity to break down the process again. So as it was stated in a PDF to the dealers, Ford actually says they're going to do six waves. And as we saw with wave one, some of those waves were only one vehicle, if any. So it's hard to tell if it's going to if it's going to funnel and the waves will get bigger, but I would imagine it should. I think they're taking wave one just really slowly just to get everything out of the way and understand, hey, that we can measure it slowly this way. We'll, we'll cut it in because I got to imagine that there's they just have to do more. So basically, they're going to span it out every two weeks. So keep that in mind. Now, there is a little like subheader on this article that I'm probably have on the screen here where it says that emails might go out sooner, maybe if they get the math done faster. However, I would judge two weeks. So not this week, but next week, we should be diving into wave two ordering. And that will just answer so many more questions for us. If, if they'll open the gates, maybe it'll get even tighter and then things will look gloomy. But you never know. So keep that in mind. Don't get your hopes down yet. And then the final thing we'll talk about today is that Ford keeps announcing production increase. My problem with this is they still haven't dove into exactly how much they're adding, especially this first year. But they are really doubling down on the Lightning and increasing uh, EV production, doubling it, in fact. So that's in addition to all the other announcements. This is a brand new announcement that we just got a couple weeks ago saying that they're doubling it again. So that should be another, I don't know, breath of fresh air. 2023, if you're still locked into this first year, these first V1 of the Lightning and you don't want to wait till 2025, I would say 2023 models, it's going to be a lot easier to purchase. So keep that in mind. Hopefully that gives you a, you know, if you plan for 2023, which is still great because there's going to be no other EVs other than the Rivian trucks anyway to get until 2024. So even if you're waiting till 2023, you'll still be one of the first with an electric truck. So you could do that. You can wait. You can be patient. That's all we can do, really. So so hopefully that's a breath of like, I don't know, I'm just trying to leave everyone who's like really upset that they didn't make the cut. And we can all agree that the ordering, pro it's a hard thing to do, like because of dealers, they can't just go in order, which is what they should have done. We all agree that, right? They should have went, sent an email to all like the first 10,000 people or so and said, hey, are you still planning on buying it? It opens next week. And then you say yes or no. And then... They give those people the orders. Now, region locked 
issues, of course, will always present themselves because if those 10,000 people are all on one side of the state or the country, then it just doesn't make sense. And they, you know, shipping and logistics, they have to work all of that into things. And unfortunately, through that massive algorithm they're doing, it's leaving a lot of people upset. So if you're one of those people, I do empathize with you. I know I, I read in the comments a bunch of you guys who are like day one reservations who were like somehow way down on the list and didn't even don't don't know if they'll get a call to order. So that that sucks and I feel bad for you guys. So hopefully, you know, we just cut out dealers all together soon and we can have well and and it's it's important to know the, the region thing will always be an issue. They can never just go directly in order. So will we ever get a perfect system? No, we just need to fight demand and and get supplies in order that this isn't an issue every time. And and another thing to think about is with more competitors entering the space, it won't be as big of an issue. Okay, guys, that's all I have. I really appreciate you watching this one. Hopefully, we'll have some more uh, hard hitting news to dive in. I, I in these like doldrum times where there's no like crazy things happening, I'd really love your opinion of like what to cover. So like what what do you look towards other than Ford Lightning news? Because obviously we got that covered, but when we don't have news for that, what, what are the things that you look forward to on this channel? I would love to do like expand and and you know keep happy news so i can just dig into other ev trucks which i know you guys are probably interested in but i could do more too so <laughs> anything electric related i'm all about it i'd love to hear your opinions and again if you made it this far in the video you're the best i appreciate it and if you're new uh feel free to subscribe it's free and that's all i got <laughs>